It's that time again. It's Rolf the promo guy, and we're hunting orc. I've been asked a lot about the good experiences and how magical it was. I don't want to hear that. I want to hear how bad it was, all right? And I will always remember uh, we're just coming back from shooting uh, Hugo Weaving uh, and I, and this big wind uh, was blowing up. And, and we're on the side of a mountain, and all the, um, the tents where people went to hang out between shots were starting to, to shake. And basically, one by one, they were starting to lift off and go over the side of the mountain. And Hugo, in full Elrond costume, suddenly went, my wife and child are in that tent. <laughs> <laughs> He's racing. Did you know you'd have to sing so much? No. What, when, when I was born? No. <laughs> yeah. 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 Why don't you start with the long answer yeah. and then we'll work your way back I mean, to me. I, I always knew I'd sing and dance. That was always, always a dream of mine. And uh, no, the song uh, came very late. It wasn't in the, in the script. It came late and they said, do you, do you want to sing a song? And, and then, uh, long story short, end up I had to write something. So I wrote that song and then we recorded it. And, 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 you know, it's one of the things I'm, I'm most proud of in the movies, I suppose. I really liked it when you guys found the, the, the salted pork and the, and the tobacco. Oh, I, always, yes. I always felt like I was finding it with you. Those kind of scenes were just fun. You know, you just get to kind of ad lib and, and just have a bit of fun and, and eat some pork and smoke some pipe weed. <laughs> <laughs> Do you still get together and have little pork pipe weed? <laughs> Sometimes <laughs> salty doing, pork. Yeah, yeah, they've got some pork. <laughs> <laughs> Shouting at night. <laughs> Like, it's kind of weird, don't you think, shooting The Hobbit after? It's, it's yeah. it kind of like you already know the ending. But, I mean, you guys are taking your own spin on it. You even changed some of the titles, I think, right? Well, not you yourself. Uh, but not I mean, personally, <laughs> no, no. Yeah, me and Peter had just a chat about the title. We just thought, you know, the Battle of the Five Armies was going to work really yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. 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 But it's a film, it's not the book. Mm -hmm. And um, so the film requires, you know, a little bit of, um, you know, sensationalism and a little bit of, um, a lot of CGI. But yeah. also, I mean, also too, the, yeah, The Hobbit is a small book, but, um, you know, Tolkien was very brief in his descriptions of things, especially things like the Battle of the Five Armies. It doesn't take up much space on the page, yeah. but to film that takes a lot of time and effort. But also, like Mark said, they have so much material that Peter has access to that they really wanted to put as much as they could in these movies, because it's not, it's probably going to be the last set of the trilogy. It was difficult at times having that many people on set, and it can be in interviews too. Excellent. Well, you can catch them down for some interviews, some photos, everything else at the Calgary Expo. What does that mean? It wasn't about you, mate. Was that, just... were you having a bit of a go? Oh, were you having a bit of a go? Literally, it's it's literally it's well, you honestly, like every day on set. I can't believe you yeah. said that. Yeah. <laughs> and you, you side with him all the time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's, He's now hurt. It's going to take days to make that up. <laughs> I'm really, really He's joking.